In this video, I will explain you what is mass user maintenance. Generally, we will use SU01 to create and maintain users, but we can also maintain many users at a time using SU10T code. So, first of all, let us see how to create multiple users using SU10. Okay, enter SU10 and hit enter, you will get this screen. From here, you type the usernames you want to create, like uh, RAS1, RAS2, RAS3, RAS4, RAS5, RAS6, 7, RAS8, RAS9. Plus 10 like this 10 users I am going to create click on the create button so that all the 10 users can be created in single attempt so from the logon data tab you can specify the user type that is dialog and user group if you have the group you can assign the group to these users and validity period valid from so and so date to valid through so and set date other data accounting number cost center okay and uh, you can uh, specify defaults of these particular users like logon language and logon language can be any language which is available in the system these are all the languages available so by default the english and german languages are available okay and uh, you can uh, change the decimal notation date format time format like that and uh, output device also can be specified that is pool device uh, to which printer these people can take printouts or push printouts you can assign from this output device button and output immediately option can be used so you can also use profile stamp to assign the profiles just uh, for now I'm not assigning any profiles just I'm clicking on the save button from the standard toolbar and uh, changes will affect uh, a large number of users number of users to change 10 do you really want to save yes so that all the 10 users will be created and it will give you the list of passwords also in the next screen so like this and this is the date 27 5 2013 time is 648 double click on this these are all the users created along with the passwords okay and you can export this particular file to local file click on the local file and uh, HTML format continue user.htm click on the generate so it will be saved in the documents folder SAP SAP GUI and this is the folder this is the file properties just to open it in Internet Explorer like this okay let us uh, log on to the system using RAS1 user this is the password just select it and uh, copy control C system log off yes and double click on network 7.0 and the username is RAS1 and the password is this hit enter and the password will be changed to new password it is mandate so initial password can cannot be used at any time it should be changed that means there is no permanent password can be assigned to dialog users okay the RAS1 user is logged into the system but without any authorization so we have not assigned any profiles that's why this particular user cannot do anything like this so for suppose if he tries to execute the SU01 it will give you the status information saying that you are not authorized to use transaction SU01 Okay, in the same way all the users all remaining nine users also will have the same status they cannot do any changes 
okay to again assign the profiles go back to your original user and assign the profiles to all the users at a time that is su10 and uh, you need to type all the users here just otherwise you can select this possible options button from here select it and select all the users like uh, ras1 ras2 ras3 ras4 ras5 ras6 7 8 9 and 10 okay and click on the copy button all the users will come here and click on the change button here from here go to profiles give sap underscore all and sap underscore new okay so that uh, all the users will be assigned with these profiles so all the users can do whatever they want to do in the system so all the users are changed like this okay profiles of for user ras1 changed sap all sap new okay like that now log off the system and log into the system using ras1 user again ras1 and the password su10 s he is able to execute the decode and su10 su01 yes or pfcc yes anything so why because we have provided all the users with all profile like sap underscore all and sap underscore new okay and uh, what else we can do with uh, mass user maintenance that is su10 just go back to the system using su sap user and the password and go to su10 and you can uh, search the users using address data by clicking on the address data or authorization data if you know the authorization objects you can uh, use this particular button to search the users or address data if you know the address of the users that is first name last name or user name okay and company if you have the company name assigned to all the users you can use the company field to search the users and city building room extension department cost center okay for example if I want to uh, maintain all the users like uh, with room number I can uh, go back SC01 RAS1 and change it room number is 1 click on the save RAS2 change room number is 1 click on save ras3 change room number is 1 click on save now go back and uh, su10 and click on the address data room number is 1 if you click on the execute button so that all the three users will be displayed select all the users and click on the transfer that means you can administer all of these three users at a time okay so in that way you can uh, use the address data to search the users for pass user maintenance okay you can lock all of these users using lock button from here just click on the lock button so that all three users will be locked see ras1 locked ras2 locked and uh, ras3 locked go back and unlock all the users by using unlock button okay and uh, all the users are unlocked now and go back and uh, and lock for experimental purpose just log off the system and log into the system using ras1 user so that uh, the user cannot log cannot log on to the system because we have locked in okay user is locked please notify the person responsible okay now again I want to if I want to unlock the users go to the system using SAP user and SU10 and uh, the click on the address data and room number is 1 click execute 
select all users transfer and unlock these users okay see Raj one is unlocked 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 three users are locked unlocked and you can also delete uh, selected lines and uh, you can delete all selections and select all as everything is selected you can delete that means you can uh, remove the information that is user information from here again you can put address data and click on the execute button to get all the lines again okay and uh, select all what else you can do like uh, click on the transfer from here uh, you can delete all the users at a, at a time that is in one go you can delete all the users click on the yes button that means ROS1, ROS2, ROS3 will be deleted see ROS1, ROS2, ROS3 deleted if you want you can check it off from here SU10 and click on the possible options button and click on the kind of start search so that all the users will be displayed except ROS1, ROS2, ROS3 okay so in this way you can do the mass maintenance of users okay I hope you understood well thanks for watching